Yo, what's up guys? So today I'm showing you a really nice piece of card magic that you can do anytime, anywhere with the Borrow Deck Shuffle Deck. So this is my handling or my approach to Richard Sanders' King Thing from his DVD series, The Richard Sanders Show. Highly recommend picking that up because there's a lot of gold in there and uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So oftentimes people ask me how I get good and practice card tricks and here's the answer. Uh, we have practice drills that magicians do, all right? So here's just one of them that's kind of fun to do. What it is is uh, taking a four of a kind, I like the queens here, and putting them in different parts of the pack like this so they're evenly spaced out. Now the drill is to try to find these queens as quickly as possible um, like this so we can give some shuffles and make sure they're really lost. And uh, if you were here, I would just have you pick out any one of these cards, but since you're not, we'll just uh, pick one uh, to use for us, all right? So maybe this card here, like the five, all right? So that means I have five seconds uh, to find all four queens, all right? Uh, that might not be possible, but I'll give it a shot, all right? Here we go. Uh, four queens, five seconds. Here, here we go. Maybe give them cuts like this. Uh, there was one queen, uh, time's running out. That was at uh, three seconds. Ah, dang it. But you know what, I am a magician, and all I do is snap, and all of a sudden, I get a queen over here, I get a queen right there, and you know what, I even get a queen right over here. All right, so here's how you do that. So what you do is you take out a four of a kind, and what's different between mine and Mr. Sanders is that he magically produces a queen in the box, and then my approach is to do it as if you actually did it with a skill, which you kind of are, but I just want to take the magic approach out of it, you know, things appearing uh, where they shouldn't be. Um, but anyway, enough of that. So what you do is you actually control the queens with a multiple shift, all right? So you put the queens like this in the pack face up so they can see that they're going in there. Now you want to aim for the queens to be in the lower portion of the pack because what you're going to do is burn as a multiple shift. And here's how that's done. So what you're going to do is make it look like you push the queens in and start a Hindu shuffle, right? But what really happens is you strip them out under cover of a top block of cards off the face, all right? So in slow motion, exposed view, this is what's happening. You can see this. You just pull with your um, thumb and your middle finger a block like a Hindu shuffle off the top like this as you sort of push those in with your index finger like this. So... Uh, what's coming out are the queens plus a block from the top like this. And then you just do that, strip them out, and start a Hindu shuffle like this. So now what you have here is the queens together on top of the deck. Here's that again because I want you to really get this, all right? So again, you put the queens in the lower portion of the pack like this. And if you want them to be on the bottom, just turn the deck over and do the same thing. Just reverse everything, all right? So again, what you do is like a Hindu shuffle, uh, take off a block of cards right there like this. And then at the same time, uh, start to push them in and so they align with that top block, right? So then pull them out immediately that way those cards plus that block come out together And then start a Hindu shuffle uh, Shuffling on top of those and then your Queens will be on top of the deck Now you can start a riffle shuffle like this uh, that retains those Queens on top now What you're gonna do is take a random card out from the middle of the deck so here's what you do. The card is random, but you switch it for a queen, and here's how. Uh, you start spreading the deck, and then you want to cull the fourth card under the deck. So you spread over, you say touch any card you want, and just cull that card under as you spread. All right, so that goes under as you're spreading. All right, so they touch a card. Now pull the hands apart like this so that your fingers can just pull this card into view like this. All right, so, and you do that as you gesture to hide that movement. All right, so you're like this. And that could have been any card and just push your fingers forward like that, right? To get that queen exposed. Now what you do is you turn over this card here, the card they actually touched, like this with the queen, all right? So uh, we'll use the five. That means that we have five seconds to find all four queens. Now what you do here is the Stanley Collins spread switch. And what that is, is you make it appear as though you turn the card over like this and put it down. But what happens is you switch it for the queen. And here's how you do that. So you turn this over. We have five seconds to find the queens. Now, as you turn it over, you just align the queen with the five as it's being turned over like this. So slow motion is this. You pin the queen on top, and then you just put the queen on top of the five and, and put it down. And then that's what the switch is. But obviously in slow motion, it does not look very good, right? So you gotta be quick with it. And the angles do matter, so you wanna shade it uh, by turning your body to the side like this so this hand holding the deck covers everything right so you show the five we have five seconds uh to find the queens and look how good that looks 
So now just assemble the deck. You don't have to keep it brick or anything like that. So the deck is assembled. And at this point you have a queen already right here and three queens on top of the deck. And here's how you produce the queens. So you're gonna do a false triple cut in the hands combining with a slip cut, all right? So the triple cut is this. So you swing over about a third of the deck and then start a swing cut like this and then grasp all cards at once like this. Take the middle portion. We all, we all know this cut, right? That's just a standard uh, false cut that we all do. So here's how to produce a card with a slip cut. So start that cut, but do the slip cut first like this, slipping a queen in the middle and then just start that triple cut like this. And then what you do here is you put that on top, rotate this hand down to produce that queen, put this packet here and that packet there. And at this point you have the queens right here and here, and then right there. So a little bit more detail on that cut. And then acting plays a huge part in this, in this effect as well. So we have five seconds to find the queens. Are all four queens? Here we go. So you want to make a huge deal out of like preparing for, you know, popping your fingers and stretching your wrist or whatever you want to do, right? So you begin the swing cut, or, or I'm sorry, the false cut like this, do the swing cut, holding no breaks, and then immediately lift up about a half with the index finger, grasp all packets like this. At this point, you grab the middle packet like this, take the top packet on top of there, don't hold a break, and then immediately turn this packet over, thumbing off that top queen like this onto the table, put this packet on the table, and then that one right next to it, and you have the queens on top of these packets here, saying, look, boom, there's a queen, a queen, and a queen there, and that's the effect. All right, guys, so as always, thanks for watching this video, and I really hope you learned something new, and I read every single comment that comes through, and most of the time, they make my day, unless they're a mean comment, but uh, yeah, leave me a comment. We'll talk about card magic, talk about what you want to talk about. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about, so. <laughs> Until next time, happy practicing. I love you guys.